420 once again for another Hot Toys video review and this time it's from the movie Iron Man 3 The Mandarin and you can purchase this and other Iron Man 3 figures at BigBadToyStore.com so just click the link in the description below and as normal we're gonna start off with a box it's a beautiful box as you can see there's some little indentation right there I don't know how you call that but it's, it's kind of embossed those flowery you know um, pattern it's it's a nice box i really like the design and um you know it's nicely done it's a little bit larger than your normal box it's still the shoe shoe box type of boxes but um yeah like i said it's a bit wide because of the chair so it's not like it comes with tons of accessories but the chair is awesome you know i'm, I'm not gonna lie uh even though it's made out of plastic but on the back as you can see here it has the camo pattern um, beautifully done even 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 just the box itself you know like i said and the inlay is also useful it does show you the you know his symbol and you know every time that he kind of hacks the tv station and whatnot uh he's one of those uh figures that suffered because not of the movie the movie's quite okay it's not bad it's not great but the execution of his character is just awful you know he, he, there's so much potential and ben kingsley is just he's a great actor and i'm you know i I'm, i get the the fact that they're trying to surprise people but they surprised a lot of fans in the wrong way so to speak so in a sense the figure kind of suffered and um as usual we're gonna st start off with a stand normal iron man 3 stand here says the mandarin and if you have the chair you're probably not gonna use that stand ever uh here is his hands his hands are pretty awesome because there's a lot of details on him because of the you know the, the rings yes he, on both hands it's it's highly detailed you know so i'm just gonna show you it's it's not one of those normal you know just hands and whatnot and this could be it looks like a trigger finger hand but he doesn't come with any gun i guess you can buy an ak ak-47 so you know it, it looks pretty awesome too when he's holding one but all of the hands it's like this one it's the open palm hands and uh forgive me if i'm just uh stalling right now on hands because he doesn't come with a lot of accessories and the hands are pretty awesome by itself you know it's not like i said it's not one of those normal you know boring open palm hands i wish they would i wish the hands would look a little bit older more veins on them because you know kingsley is a bit older a bit on the older side so they gotta have a i guess some um, to differentiate the older hands from you know the, the younger ones and some fisted hands he also comes in uh you know open palm hands the fisted hands are pretty cool too like i said all the rings are present on those hands it comes with some cool ray-bans sunglasses pretty awesome you know it fits him nicely too you know fits snug on his um on his ear so you can see there there's uh you know there's a little bit of dust but that's what happens when you, you, you got to be careful though it's a little bit fragile it's it's really uh, tiny and I, I bet you can break the, the handles easily on both sides you know, like i said we're not going to spend too much time on this um on this uh, segment because he doesn't come with a lot of accessories and here's the biggest one if you know if you're gonna buy this figure i mean it looks like wood but it's not it's actually made out of plastic i wish they would have incorporated some um you know some wood in there you know i, I don't think it's going to be that hard to manufacture although it you know i can see the i can see why they went to the plastic route but it's pretty awesome still you know even though it's uh it's plastic it's a bit light but the effects of wood is in there you know they, they could have done a better job on you know putting the wood grain and whatnot it was kind of funny to be to be quite honest but it it does the job you know it's it's pretty cool you know on the side as you can see there's some pattern i believe this is some some chinese you know whatever because it's the mandarin you know inspired i guess design i don't you know when when the prototype came in everyone was wondering is he gonna come with the uh with a chair because the chair looks pretty awesome you know i'm glad they it did you know i'm gonna put it on you know a bit further so you can see you know, some details on it and the good thing about this chair is that you know if you want to you want to part with your mandarin and you just want to you know just get this chair and have somebody sit on it because you won't even see it you know it's 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 nice you know but once he's sitting on it you won't really see much of a detail so if you want to have somebody else sit on it you know like i don't know commissioner gordon or something like that i don't know why he would sit on that chair but it looks pretty sweet though and it looks like a king but yeah i guess that's uh the main part of the accessory and now we'll jump on to the actual figure 
Uh, like I said, you know what? I, I do like the figure. Did not love the character. I, I wasn't... I mean, me personally didn't like the movie all that much. I think it's the weakest out of the three movies. Maybe it's Iron Man 2. I don't know. But, um, you know, it has some good parts. But I wish they didn't have this twist where he was this, uh, this goofy guy. Because if he wasn't, I'm pretty sure they'll sell more of this figure. You know, but it's like I said, it's he's, he's pretty nice. I mean, as you can see from the robe... It's pretty sweet, you know. His his um his costume is really articulate. Uh, it has a, it has a lot of details on it. There's it's not a whole lot of moving parts, but still, you know, it's very um, you know, it's it's highly detailed. You know, even the the pattern on his robe, you can see that floor. I don't know if it's a, like floral pattern or whatever you want to call them. It's nice. His boots, you know. There's there's a lot of pieces too that you can you get from this figure as you can see those pattern really nice fabric that they use there's buttons who's, who's you know tightly secured i've had buttons pop out on me but not on this guy you know even on his belt i don't know what it's made of i know it's made out of a lot of rope and whatnot you can see all the details on the on his hood even the fabric it's pretty sweet it's it has a lot of potential um you know just the robe I don't see you using all this, you know, accessories on other figures, but Mandarin, but still, you know, it has a magnet. So that's another, you know, cool thing about that. The, the, the hood itself is pretty much useless. It doesn't fit him. It looks, it looks gigantic, even if you want to have him, you know, with a hood on. But as you can see that, look at that, look at that pattern. Look at that, um, uh, you know, tailoring and all that stuff. It's pretty awesome. It's embroidered pretty sweet and and also the the pattern on his uh on his coat and like i said if he had been um a bit more menacing i would say like the mandarin from the comics i'm pretty sure this figure would sell a lot you know it, it, i know it went on sale multiple times it's it's currently on sale at big bad toy store as well so and i know you can pick this up pretty cheaply nowadays you know if you want to pick it used or an eBay or whatnot. I know it's cheaper, but if you want to go with some reliable, more you know, more reliable um, you know site or toy store, I would I would go with Big Bad Toy Store, honestly. But uh, it came, you know, the the price was pretty high when it first came out. I believe it's around two twenty or so, which is a bit high for this character because when it was announced, it looks pretty sweet. But then as as soon as the the people saw the movie and whatnot, you know. Uh, it kind of came down to it was like do i really need this in my collection i would put him in the same category as, as electro uh electro is he looks pretty good i haven't seen him firsthand but he has this functions and features that are pretty awesome as well uh but you're gonna ask yourself do you really need this figure as you know if you're not a big iron man fan then you probably won't need this figure but it, it's still nice in your collection though that's that's my point and look at that head sculpt you know it's such a waste because this is one of my top head sculpts in my collection uh it really captured kingsley uh ironically you know that is something that i want to do you know over time is to you know make a, a video collection of you know the best head sculpts and I'll, I'm, I'm honestly putting him up there you know not because i have him or whatnot but i i think he has a tremendous head sculpt so you can see there the the older feature um i'm sorry if this camera is just you know not cooperating with me at the moment you know there's some uh focusing but yeah uh, look at that i mean that is ben kingsley all the way uh, even with glasses he looks pretty awesome the beard you know he had a, he had a long beard on the movie and he's such a great actor too you know it's it's like i said it's um it's a tragedy what happened really with what they did with the character of mandarin uh i can't i don't know if you want to call him mandarin or trevor at this point but there was a twist i don't know if you've seen it uh you can youtube it you know it's it's an, at the ending i think of the dark world thor or or it's in a special you know on on the blu-ray or dvd or something like that where they kind of took him again from the prison I don't know if that's to redeem his character or I don't know if they're going to expand it even more. I highly doubt it because they're moving towards Civil War now. But um, yeah, um, look at that. That's pretty awesome. And you can make him with this look where he has his glasses. 
you know i'm just trying to make sure that it doesn't fall off and it, it looks pretty good you know even with the sunglasses looking kind of funny in a funny way but um you know i i think it's still a good look for for the figure and like i said that with the beard you're kind of I'm kind of limited on what you know like the head movement you know like looking left and right because it's so long it kind of hits his chest so there's not much room for articulation it's not like you can look up or look any more down because like i said because of the beard it's going to hit his chest so there's no you know the neck is there but you know, you're kind of obviously you're hindered by the articulation of the beard um the wrinkles as you can see there the texture of the skin make him look old it's all there the eyes the nose you know it's it's really kingsley all the way it's just you know it's it's one of the best head sculpts that i've seen you know let's put it that way not the best figures of not the best figure obviously that i've seen or or i currently own but i would put it up there as far as head sculpt is concerned and the camera's not picking up this is as best as you can go with the with the hood on him it doesn't look bad there but trust me it looks kind of puffy when it's out there and um you know the worst part of and the worst and best part of this figure is the chair uh war best because it's it's an awesome chair you know you can always use it for post figures but it you're kind of tied up to that i mean you're not gonna post him like in this post where he's kind of like you know preaching to the crowd or, or whatnot you know there's only limited poses that you can do with a figure because the figure itself or the character is limited to what he can do you know he you can have him hold like an ak-47 i guess but one of his best poses is when he's sitting on a chair he looks more of um authoritative figure you know he looks more of a, like this one i mean it looks kind of funny because his his, his leg is hanging but it, this is his best asset and also his worst because as soon as you get the chair you're gonna get tied up with a chair you know it's, it's unlike robocop who comes with a mechanical chair which you have an option because it's robocop so you can you can have him stand up do you know all sorts of things but with him he's pretty much gonna sit, sit there um you know and, and that should wrap things up and thank you for watching but like i said unless you know it's it's a good figure don't get me wrong great now i wouldn't say great it's a good figure if you're a big iron man fan go ahead and pick this up a big bad toy store if not you can easily pass on this figure but uh you know for the price i guess if the price is right why not you know thank you for watching please click subscribe and uh till next time